it guys. Leaving Trinidad for Tobago. It's gonna be a very interesting experience. From what I heard, Tobago, it's much slower pace. So I'm really expecting, I'm really have like excitement to be there very soon. Took the ferry, look at that beautiful view. Seems like a lot of people here are coming with their cars to just leave. Very comfortable way to do that, definitely if you live here. So now I need to grab my bag to see where it's located, my baggage, and then we'll take a taxi. So apparently the baggage is not on the boat as I thought. This is the boat behind me. It's actually over there already. They transfer it to there. So I'm just gonna claim it from that side and I need to get to a place called Charlottesville it's a Rasta village so I missed a little bit the Rasta life so after claiming the bag I will try to get a taxi this taxi need to get me to Charlottesville the thing is that because it's Sunday I might not have these taxis here so this is like a minibus if I would take a taxi will be much more expensive so I hope I'm lucky today and we'll have the taxi you know because I mean I don't want to pay like it's not even double it's like around let's say 1000% more the taxi than the minibus so I hope I will get the minibus all right ready and steady so I believe that a lot of taxis now will jump on me. Yes, sir. Let's see. Can I see your number, yeah, please? Sure, 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 man. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Yeah, man, of course. Just yeah. a second. Let me take it out from That's here. just a policy? Mm -hmm. Like you're doing a video. Yeah, welcome it. to Tobago. Thank you very much, yeah, brother. You, are Thank you, you need a taxi? No, I take it from here, yes. From here? You need a taxi from here? I need not a taxi. I need actually the one that is, uh, you know, the minibuses. Oh, like the minibuses. Like, uh, the minibuses, like uh, yeah. Serena. Oh, you need a minibus? Yeah, man. The taxi the is like. Yeah, yeah minibus. It's very expensive. I need a minibus. I need a minibus to Charlottesville. I know it's. Yeah, man. No, 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 no. You need a minibus, like a Serena bus. Yeah, man. Who do you have that minibus over here? It's like 16, right? 16. 3 TT. You need a maxi to go Charlottesville, 16. Yeah, man. Sorry? You need one, you need one, you need one thing. I don't understand, man. You say you need four oh, vehicles to get but you don't want four it. Yeah, but I don't want to pay these prices. Yeah, you want I want to go the local way, bro. Local way. Yeah, local way. Yeah, I'm, I'm a local, man. I'm not a local, but I live like a local. So, do you know, to tell me where are the buses, where are the minibuses? Minibuses? Yeah. I have to go in the corner there. To the corner there? Yeah, by people corner. You okay. Get many bucks pass into the country. Thanks, man. Yeah, right? yeah. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Okay. So apparently we have them and they are active. So and they were were very honest with me also, you know. So this is very important, guys. When you know, you know. You know. It's very important to come with this uh, knowledge before because if no, definitely they will rip you off. I mean, this is their job. It's not that they do it in purpose, but it just. If you go the local way it's much cheaper so this is just the way I prefer you know you can do whatever you want to do but you can take my advice okay let's search for them so this is supposed to be guys do you know the Charlottesville bus is like do you know that's over what, there that's what you're waiting for ah you're waiting also for Charlottesville yeah okay so you're standing here or there so why do you stand here if you if it's over there uh, just interested, you know? Time passed, we assume it's supposed to come at 12.30 and it's, oh, it's past 12.30 so we may take a taxi. Because what is the last one on 12.30? No, they have in the evening too. Uh, how, 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 how many in a day? We don't, we don't I don't know. live here, I can't tell you. Every, we every half we, an hour? We don't know because we take taxi. Usually you take taxi or yes, you take? Usually we take taxi, so we don't know. We are just I got you. So like you try stay both, there, you, tr you try both options, yes. basically. Yeah, okay, yeah, what yeah, comes yeah. first? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks. All right, so let's see. I mean, like, let's wait for the bus. Let's see what happens. I don't know, guys. Maybe it's gonna take a lot of time, and then we will have to take the taxi. So we will see. You know, we have a shady area here. 
and tell you the truth I'm not in a hurry to anywhere but I don't want to waste my time too much here so let's see if it's gonna take I think like more than 20 minutes half an hour so I might take a taxi just to make you like an um, an estimation the bus should cost 16 TT that is around like one dollar one and a half dollars something like that the maybe two dollars the taxi should cost 300 TT so we're talking about 45 dollars to get to Charlottesville so yeah I mean we just wait and see who comes first finally we got it guys we have the bus Hey man, where can I put it? I go down in the back. In the back? Okay. Okay, I waited for a long time for this bus, but it's finally here. Wow, that was a good one. Okay, so this one is a 16 TT Trinidadian dollars. That's it. Made it to Charlottesville. So basically, I needed to arrive to reach that gas station. Now I need to understand where is my guy and get to my place, put my stuff, start to explore the area. Look where we are, guys. Just right here on the beach. Beautiful, amazing, huh? Wow. Look at that called almond tree and of course almond tree just above me you know the indigenous almond the only almond in the world that is still original you know not like the American one the GMO one but look at this beautiful beach area I need to catch a boat to go to fish with someone here this is gonna be my mission as well made it That's quite a climb, man. Woo. Okay, we have this suitcase here. We need to do it. Okay, okay, all good. I'm coming. All good. I'm coming. I'm coming. All good. Hey, 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 hey. Made it. That's a good exercise. Now we just need to open the door. All right, I think if you forgot the keys, it's a different keys. Oh, that's a quiet place a nice nice place I like it look at that guys nice area it's locked I need to okay so cut I'm hungry guys and cut gonna take me somewhere to eat here there is a good restaurant here bro yeah yeah it's a local food yeah what kind of food you know what you have? They will tell you what they have like macaroni pie, rice, okay. chicken, fish, peas. Okay, that's good. Reasonable price? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. How much usually it's worth? It like, costs like average price of, of a meal over there? Average, well, the one on top is more expensive than the one below. Yeah. I don't know where the one below are. The one on top is like 80 TT. 80 TT? Yeah. And this one, the one on the bottom? The one on the bottom is like 70. Ah, this is not a big difference. 70 no. and 80. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And like, usually, where can I buy here also food? You know, if I want to cook for myself, where can I buy food? Where can I buy vegetables? Supermarket. There is supermarket and yeah. there is people that sell outside? Yeah. Also? Yeah. Where can I yeah. find them? Right along the. Yeah. Ah, right along yeah. the road over there yeah. where I just. Okay, okay. Yeah, you'll see them. Okay, man. Perfect. Okay. Ah, I all the time confused, you know, because <laughs> in my country it's opposite. Yeah. It doesn't really matter how many times I get it, guys. I all the time get confused with that. Okay, let's see what we have to eat here. You will talk later. Yeah. All right. All right. Just arrived. Let's see what we have to eat here. Yeah, man. I'm the YouTuber. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. When you are asking the guys and you want the water yeah. and you pay for two dollars, yes, I yeah, man. Pick yeah. Fish. Yeah. Now you are on my video, bro. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So we'll what do you have? Like you said, like fish. Yeah, fish you are and here? chicken and thing. This is Charlottesville. I'm a boat guy. I do deal with boats. Just, you can talk to him. Yeah, I want to talk with you on the boat also. Later, man. Hey, 
Hey bro, what's up man? How are you bro? Yeah man, all good. Yeah. Can I see what you have? My girl, yeah. right now things are going on. Different I know. Ah, looks yeah, good know. man. But okay. right now the chef just stepped out to come back. Sorry, what? The chef, the original chef, my poor. I mean, but you have more potato? Or yes, just... yes, 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 you have a lot of stuff. So if I want to eat now? You can I'm... get, yes, you can get, we have a nice. But this we by order. You understand? So in ah. order we do the garden the, 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 the potatoes. Amen. What's Talk up? Ah, Alright guys, I'm pretty hungry. I don't know what is going on over there. Let's see. Let's see what is going on over there. This is a very chill, nice place. Yeah man, how are you bro? Hey. Hello, hello, man. How are you bro? Everything good? Good, good. I what, saw you what? in the sometime man. Yeah. YouTube. And I saw you somewhere. Did you like it? Yeah man, I saw you when again um you was going to check out the houses to get in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm trying different things, man. Yeah, man. So what is going on here, by the way? Seven, Juices? Yeah, food and juice. What is kind of food? What kind of food? Uh, menu there. Uh, okay. Yeah. Can I see the plate? Ah, it looks good. How much for a plate like that? Sixty. 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 Yeah, chicken. Thai kalaloo. Kalaloo. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Wow. Looks good. Okay. Until when you open here? Huh? What time you close? What time you finish? When the food finish. When the food finish? Okay. So I thought like come back later, you know, because I already bought a fish there, but it looks good. So I think like maybe come later to you. Nearly finished, by the way. Nearly finished? Okay. Okay. Tomorrow you're also open? No. Only on weekend? Only on weekend. Saturday and Sunday only. Okay. Got you. Thank you very much. And the juices for how much? Ten. Ten? And what kind of juices do you have? You're in paradise food world. What is that? Food it's including sugar inside or no sugar? Yeah, sugar. Sugar cane? Huh? Sugar cane sugar? Sugar sugar. White one. Okay, thanks. Alright guys. I prefer actually without sugar, you know? It's already sweet. You have the sugar from the fruit. So if it's with white sugar, I mean it's exactly like you buy a soda in the supermarket, you know? No different. The, the biggest one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, the biggest one. Yeah. So this is local seasoning. We have shadow in it. Okay. This is culantro, cilantro. This is like pepper? No, no. This, this is cayenne one. pepper? Yeah. Gold pepper. Yeah, gold pepper. Gold pepper. It's small, yeah it's good. It's small, I know. Yeah. Cayenne. Chili. Cayenne pepper. Yeah, chili pepper. Yeah, chili cayenne. Okay, man. Yeah, let's go for this one. Local, yeah, good. Local, local, local. Yeah, local. I know. I know this. It's good. It's actually alkaline. You know, it's, it's really good. good. Yeah. It just gives you a good funk and then. Yeah, it's go, it's go up and down really fast. I get you. Yeah. This is some of the tricks I do. See all that is seasoning, different type. I have rosemary, thyme, fever grass, and you can see I try with a coconut leaf. So it looks good, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, looks delicious. Yeah. What we do? What I do? Okay. This is all the time deep there, so it's giving the flavor, giving the flavor all the time there, right? And I come here. You see, that's rosemary. Time. We have a shadow beni, which is culanto, has side, side, side. Okay. So. Smells delicious, man. I'm looking for a quiet spot to eat guys because it's very noisy with the music over there and you know let's experience the beach a little bit just sitting on the beach over here look at this beautiful place I mean I think like this bench maybe is a it's a good spot you know all the chickens are around here. What is that? It's a little bit dirty. Or maybe I just, I don't know, like maybe this spot, maybe just here. You know, this is, can be a nice spot. Okay. I don't know, but I get like a lot of bites in my in my feet, I think this is a sand flies, you know? Yeah, I think so. You know, this kind of reddish, this is sand flies usually. 
it's like when they each when they um, like when they sting you you don't really feel it but after a while it become really itchy so yeah, I mean let's eat this thing whoa look at that guys look at that this is, looks delicious wow okay hey amen now you want to be my friend before before that you were scared when there is a smell of food they are not really scared okay let's try fresh fish guys mm. wow so good Wow, this is delicious. Mm. Wow, wow, I was so hungry. Just want to let you see what is going on here. Wow. Mm. Wow, the sauce is so good. Let's try the potato. It was soaked with a lot of juice, with a lot of um, sauce, you know? Wow. I mean, this guy over there, he knows what he's doing. It's really good. Mm. And it's actually a very decent price, you know? 55 for this fish. I mean, yeah, that's a good price, definitely. Mm. Wow, so delicious. Mm. Wow, I was so hungry. What is that? Okay, I think this is belongs to the boat. Hey man, what's up? Tell me to the beach, I go to here, yeah. there, and then there are the stairs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, bless yeah. up. You're yeah man okay all right so i want to go to the beach a little bit guys because i am feeling so hot here you know since i just came here because the weather is just demanding from me to go to the beach to deep a little bit and the beach where i just stayed it's not really a beach most of the most of the beach is like full of boats hey man yeah, what's up hi. man most of the beach over there like is full of boats so there is no really place to chill and like this guy over there that sold me the food he told me like there is a beach right here i just need to go a little bit straight ah, this is breadfruit guys look at that beautiful breadfruit so he just told me that i need to go here climb a little bit and then there are like around 100 stairs that i need to go down go down i say to climb down no it doesn't make sense so it's good also you know to make some exercise guys in the end of the day we are in vacation but it's a constant vacation and it's not gonna end soon so wherever i go i do some exercise so this beach that where he told me right now that i'm going supposed to be with more people that actually just chilling on the beach and uh even if there is no people it's also just be just me by myself going exploring i like this vibe here guys there is a very interesting vibe in uh, charlotteville it's like a small village with a rasta vibe you know and uh yeah i really enjoy the view everything is like so magical here look at that view and even you have a hike a small hike to the beach i mean what i can ask more than that okay this is a this is a okay this is not the stairs that i need to take because it's going up i need to take okay i think i also need to put some hat on my head so this is like a must guys a must okay now i'm good to go so i hope i'm in the right way because even if i'm not in the right way I still like it. I still like to walk it, to explore and get lost. You know, there is a very famous saying that I use it all the time. Let me see just if the 
hat is straight. So I use it all the time. It says, in order to find yourself, you have to get lost. The thing is that most people, they don't like to get lost, you know? They don't like to get out of their comfort zone. So this is the reason why they don't find themselves. But I find myself every time again and again. And it's an amazing feeling, guys. And I recommend to all of you to do that. What is that? This is a house. I see some goats here. There is a goat racing. Goat racing here in Tobago. They actually taught the goats how to run, how to like, and they make a contest. So it's crazy. I heard like, I never heard about it before, you know? I heard about dog, but I heard about horses, but I never heard about goats. So yeah, they don't look like the kind of being trained to run. But yeah, there is a small farm here and they taking care of the, of the bush here pretty good. That's nice. But I think like we need to continue furthermore in order to get to the beach. What is that sign? It's very interesting. I see some cars over there on the edge of the of this climbing okay vater installation site what is vater i don't know okay it doesn't really matter just gonna walk it all right guys so this is where i need to go echo home welcome you to pirates bay so i need to go to pirates bay this is the name of the beach and i can already hear people from the bottom oh i can see that that's a beautiful beach guys all right and there are a lot of people on the beach okay i'm happy let's go and explore it so um, first of all i'm in the right i mean there is no one there is nothing to get confused here too much you know and we get a little bit of shade so i can take off my hat so yeah that is so beautiful man these caribbean islands full of vegetation full of beautiful nature I mean yeah I can definitely see myself one day live in this beautiful one of these beautiful islands you know it's like so undeveloped okay this looks like the stairs that I need to take down okay so okay pirate bay echo home or maybe this is an hotel I don't know I mean okay let's just go and get lost you know maximum will go on the opposite way backwards yeah this is the stairs guys we found them yeah we got them okay supposed to be around 100 stairs and then we get to the beach So this is guys first time experience of a beach out of Trinidad so we are now in Tobago and this is the first time that I get inside a proper beach in Tobago so I'm not considering the first one as a beach you know because it's mostly parking for boats but this one wow this one is amazing I mean wow okay a lot of people actually I didn't expect that okay you have here you have there and from what i saw like most of the most of the tourism here they are like local tourism so yeah i mean it's really nice look at that beautiful guys beach wow i mean like that is so beautiful man that is amazing that is beautiful mm -mm -mm. let me see where i'm going to go when I go there, no shade in that area. Yeah, I have a little bit of shade. Hey, can I sit here? It's okay. Not a lot of shade area, area here. Yeah, this one at least. What is your name? Cherish. Cherish? Yeah. Shy. Nice to meet you. A nice name, Cherish. Like to cherish someone, yes. Shy like shy, like introvert? Yeah, exactly. Like, like a shy guy, you know? <laughs> yeah. But I'm, take, I'm trying to take people's shyness away, you know? Oh, this... really shy, <laughs> no, it's just like, you know, it's just my name. 
But where I'm coming from is from Israel, so the meaning in Hebrew is basically gift. Yes. So cherish is also like to cherish someone, right? It's also like a it's kind of a gift, you know, for someone to cherish. I like it. I like it. First time in Tobago? Oh, no, I actually You live in Tobago? Where? Like here? In Charlottesville? No, I live in more going to Sorry, where? Going to Scarborough. Ah, okay, like it's like one hour from here, no? Yeah. It's like the city? Yeah, this is Where the boat comes, where the ferry yeah, comes. Ferry okay. Comes. But where is better? Huh? It looks like here it's paradise, you know? Of course, that's why I left them come up here to just spend the day and relax. So you just came here by yourself? No, I have two friends up there, they're bathing up there, so I just came with Why so far and not here? Huh? Why they went so far and not well, here? Up, they are custom bathing up there. What they are? They are custom coming up here. They, Sorry again. They usually come here. Come here to this spot. To this area. Okay. But this is the first time for me. Your first time here yeah. in that beach? Yeah. Ah, okay. So for me, it's my first time as well. Okay. Yeah, I just came here like one hour ago to this place. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So where are you staying? I'm staying here in Charlottesville. Charlottesville. Yes, there is a place here, like a nice place. Yeah. So you gonna just go back after yeah, that? Yeah, we're going back. This okay. Time. Yeah. I mean, like for you, it's like really close. Like yeah. One hour away. Yeah. Like yeah, it's nice. Mm. You on vacation though, you have to I'm on a constant vacation already two years. Really? Mm, yeah. What do you do? What kind of work do you do? This is YouTube. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. This is what I do for a living, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Nice. So if if you wanna do that, you know, you can also travel, you know? Yeah. It definitely can give you the option to do that. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah. You gonna get to the water? Um. No? You already got dry, so you don't want to okay. get wet again? Okay, so I'm going a little bit and then I come back. All right, nice. All right. let's deep inside the water, guys. Let's feel the first water in the beach outside of Trinidad. Looks pretty transparent and it feels very good. Wow, that's so good. Man, I needed that. I needed that. Okay. Wow. Woo. Wow. That is so good, man. Man, <laughs> life in the Caribbean, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. I mean, wow. <laughs> Mm, yo guys everyone at home really when you see that video just remember every one of you that you can every one of you no different from me all of you can actually fulfill your dreams all of you you know I just started two years ago man and everything in your life can happen but you just need to believe if you believe you're gonna make it you're gonna make it man all right so look at that guys there is a river here that actually comes from there and this is a fresh water that you actually can wash yourself from the river so this is what we're gonna do just gonna fill it and <gasps> wow that is good now i'm not salty anymore Instead of the water getting waste from the river, you actually can use it. That is amazing, you know? This is like taking advantage of nature in a really good way. Woo! Wow. So guys, new day and a new experience, new adventure, I can say, because what I want to do right now is find the fisherman so the time now is around six o'clock in the morning a little bit before i just came out of my place at 5 30 something like that so i believe it's around 4 4 5 45 at the morning what i want to do now i want to find the fisherman and join him to a fisher hunt fisher journey a fish journey so Usually this is the time they go out to fish. Now just need to find the right person. Just join him. Let's see 
who I can find on the beach right now because I know a lot of them right now. Hey man, how are you? Do you think I can find right now someone? Hmm? I can find right now someone? I think so. Yeah? Like where to go? Like they are on the beach right now? Yeah. All of them? Not all of them, but they're coming on the beach. They're coming on the beach. Yeah. Slowly, slowly. Okay, yeah. thanks man. Yeah, man. All right. Okay. Let's hope we find someone fast, convince him to go with him, and that's going to be a nice adventure. You know, I didn't do that before, but uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can see someone so far. Okay, there is a guy over there. Let's see if he's going. Let's talk with him. I mean, for right now, he's the only one, I guess. I mean, a lot of boats on the ocean, but he's the only one. And he looks like he has uh, his own canoe. I think he's going just with his little boat and a hook. Yeah, he's not. He's not the one that I'm looking for. Maybe this one. Yo, man, you go to fish? You go to fish? You go fishing? Right now? Right now? Can I join you, bro? You want to go? Yeah, with you. I want to make a beautiful video, bro. You want to go fishing? Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. I don't experience. Yeah, I saw you yesterday, no? Yeah. And we spoke. You said you are not sure. But now you are sure because you are here, right? No, I didn't get to school to you yesterday, but... It was not with you? Okay. Where is your boat? It's out in the sea. Ah, it's out in the sea? Nice. Got to put on back. Why? Thanks, man. All right, guys. We are about to leave very soon. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited. It's going to be my first time. So, I mean, it's going to be very interesting. So we have some fuel here for the boat and uh, you see already you know all the seagulls here they are going crazy I think like because of the small fishes that there is in the water here when you swim here you can see them very clearly and uh, yeah it's a little bit start to get uh, light and I really actually like to wake up in this kind of time you know in these kind of hours it's really nice to just start to adopt it you know start to wake up in five o'clock like on a regular basis so where we need to take this? That's fine. I'm not taking my lorry as well. First I mix them. This is the oil. So what is that that you put inside? Oil. Oil? So you mix it with the fuel? Mm. Okay. That's it. Can I go inside? Yes, yes. Rinse out your slippers. Rinse out your slippers. Here. Rinse them out. Rain ah, rinse them, sand, rinse them. Rain, yeah, man, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I get it step by step, man. You like with no, with the Trini, man. Sometimes I don't understand because of the Trini, man. This is why I don't understand. Yes. Yeah, sometimes. But then you speak like yeah. again, and then I understand you. Oh. Okay. I can put my stuff in the in the top of the boat. All right. Okay, I need a safe spot for the things, guys. 
Think I would just put it? Okay. We just put it here. That would be a good spot for the things. And uh, whoo! Yeah, we are about to move. Go out. That will be a nice journey. I don't know how far we're gonna go, but it's very interesting. Your name again, brother? Kunta. Kunta? Kunta. Kunta, okay. Kunta. We're going deep, bro? We're gonna go deep? Not that deep? Okay. Usually, what do you catch? Like uh, dolphin fish? Sometimes tuna. Tuna, kingfish? Nice, man. Also groupers? No. Groupers is more, it's deeper? Yeah. Okay, got you. Okay. I hope you're gonna catch something, you know? Because it's a lot about luck. Sometimes we don't catch, sometimes we catch. Sometimes we catch small, sometimes we catch big. But let's see. Wow. Look at that beautiful view, man. The sun is not that out. Actually, you can see the moon behind me. It's crazy. I don't know if you can spot it on the top of the hill. And what Kunta actually explained to me about the mixing the oil with the fuel, that when you have like two shocks, two shocks it's called, two shocks engine, two shrooks engine, or two strokes engine, I'm not quite sure because I don't understand it any too much. You need to mix the oil with the fuel, but when it's four, strokes so basically you have a separate place for the oil and a separate place for the gasoline for the gas so this is the reason why because i never saw before that someone actually mixed the oil with the gas This is guys first time that I see you know how people in uh, Trinidad they make the blunt you know the blunt here like it's very different because they usually what they, what they do like they do they just take a cigarette and on the cigarette they put in the end of it the whole cannabis clean and now it's just like you're gonna see so the top is like normal cigarettes they don't just mix it like in for example other places you see how it looks like Nice man, look at that beautiful day, huh? Amazing. So what we are doing? Yeah man, it's trolling. It's chilling a little bit. Trolling. Trolling? Trolling. What is trolling? Trolling is driving a boat constant pulling five lines. We are going to okay. use four. So it's trolling. Trolling, okay. Right? There's different types, there's the one with the live beats. So you take live baits from here, okay. and that's a la vie, live bait. Okay. There's the one when you catch a grouper, you have one spot. Maybe we might do some of that today. Okay. But what we are going to do right now, it's trolling. Okay, trolling. Yeah. So five hooks in the boat in the water. Four. Four. Four, Four hooks in the water. Okay. Yeah. And we'll be driving them. Okay. Slowly. Fast. Fast. And usually they catch even if they, it's fast. The fish can catch it, no problem. Wow, okay, I didn't know that, man. So guys, this is what they do right now. I basically just throw them to the water, the baits. And uh, yeah, like he said, we're gonna do this round right now. We're gonna drive with the hooks. Yeah, just put them in the water. It's 
not a it's not a hook with uh, bait like with uh, food bait it's like a plastic bait just look like a squid and uh, I don't know I don't have too much knowledge on this one but I believe that uh, it also works because maybe you know it's more on eye vision less than on smell so I mean if it does it so it works for sure these ones are not real right but it works good yeah okay look like a squid We are trolling. I think the word trolling comes from to troll, you know? So we're basically drawing like a fake bait. So this is like trolling. This is what I believe so. But I will ask him in a bit when the engine will turn off. So we have the accurate answer for that. So the reason that it's called it trolling is because we are not stop moving. So it's basically just to take the attention. Right. And catch a vibe when the captain says his friends. When the captain says his friends. Okay, sure man. We'll do it. everything in the water we're getting a little bit deeper in the ocean this is where the shore I don't see it anymore so we're pretty far from it and, uh, yeah, that's exactly how I imagine that you know when I just want to do that experience authentic one because some people they just offer me uh, tour guides you know for fishermen like to do it in a unauthentic way and for me I just wanted to have the real experience come with someone join someone that actually just do it for his you know for his what well, this is what he makes for a living just join him and be part of their authentic 100% experience you know this is what it is you know this is what I came to do here to explore places in that way so yeah If you have a motion sickness, definitely it's not a place to be here, yeah? I'm lucky not to have it, but uh, yeah, the boats, it's a little bit, you know? So guys, I don't know if you can see, there are some brown spots inside the water. And what did you say, bro? Like, it's good and bad? Yeah, it's called seaweed. Seaweed? Yeah, and some of them, sometimes it breaks fish, but for the children, this is like from bambook you know like they used to do that they don't play around here you know they just use the you know the indigenous traditional way and that's amazing in my opinion you know no like professional hooks no not professional yeah you know stick to the hook so as you can see i moved to the front I want to hear him when we talk when I see there it's too far so yeah now I'm close to him it's much better so guys we have a great example right now he feel like we had seaweed in the hook so he's just gonna pull it towards him and gonna just take it out so let's see how it is
just in the middle of nowhere I believe that uh, there is a lot of uh, fish concentration especially when it's close to the you know to the edges of the place in the water more marine life you guys I just saw dolphins wow that was crazy wow Yo, look at that guys whoa look at the dolphin wow man this is crazy wow they're so big man wow 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 you just yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Wow, man. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, we are, we are, there are dolphins around us, guys. It means that there is fish. If there is dolphin, there is fish usually. Yeah, Not right necessarily. The, the, they run fish right now. Okay. They hunt the fish. Okay. They don't, do, they don't usually do that. But right now, when they come around, fish get, they go hide it. Oh, because they see them, so... So they see them as a threat now, the dolphins are a threat for the fish now. I got you. So they make the fish run away. Yeah. Got you. Alright. So basically, they are not good for him. And for us. But they are also beautiful to see, guys. That was amazing. They were swimming and they were so big, you know? Wow. I hope you're gonna see them again. Okay, okay, bro. All right. Is it? We have a catch. First one for today. I'm really excited. He puts the glove on, the gloves on. So yeah, you know when you need to have a good grip, I think like and this rope can actually can cut your hands very easily, you know, it's like a knife when you are pulling it and you have some resistance. So let's see how big it is. one huh man I have to tell you that I prayed a little bit before he caught it I don't know if it helped or not but I said like I want to I want to fish in the hook so I pray for God and yeah now we have a fish after three minutes He's dead. The place is about to die or like yeah, he's dead. Wow. You know what I learned about fishing and in life in general, I think like this is a great lesson, you know? You need a lot of patience. Patience is the key for everything. Some people want to rush it, you know? I think like there is a fast way get rich or oh, because of social media you know you get the bad or the wrong image that patient is not required anymore but guys this is one of the most important oh, one of the most important things you know in life patience so whoa I have to tell you that the ocean is a little bit wavy much more and become much more rough than before so yeah I mean stabilize myself oh whoa all right yeah definitely oh. Woo. yeah 
another one let's see what kind of fish is it and it's like just after two minutes we have this one so let's see let's see wow this looks like a whoa wow another big fish wow Close it. To put the cover on. Look at these giants. Two fellas here. Okay. Alright. We got it guys. A lot of seaweed. As I said before. So it's gonna, it makes us a little bit more difficult, but, and, yeah, I mean, we're gonna catch some more with the difficulties, you know? Who says that the ocean is not rough? The sea is not rough. Uh, definitely with the jumps. Ah, to pull it, okay. Seaweed? Okay, that is another great example. This is a big one, just on the edge of the hook. Okay, so we are putting back the hooks inside the boat and getting ready to leave to the beach. And uh, yeah, that was a great experience. Thanks, man. Thanks for everything, man. The beach and yeah that was a great experience with Kunta Kenti my man he took me here allow me to join him and it was a great experience guys not for the weak-hearted because it's like 
boat are going like crazy. What, what? Let them come for an experience. I do fish and chips, so. Exactly. So if you want to, to do that, guys, I mean, I'm telling you, you have to have some balls because this, this boat like going up and down. And if you have motion sickness, it's not going to work with you. But if you come here, you come to Kunta Kunti and then you find him. You come here to 6 o'clock, 5.30 in the morning, like me. Then you can join him, take this boat, have an authentic experience with him. You saw two big kingfishes here, guys. Look at that. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, guys, don't even think twice. If you want to see more content, just subscribe, like, and share with other people. And of course, I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.